Hello! This is a reader's guide for Read Across America's Story of the Month for May, Magic Ramen, the story of Momofuku Ando. This guide is intended to help caregivers facilitate meaningful discussions and activities revolving around May's theme of passion and perseverance. In this presentation, we will begin with a video of the author doing a read aloud of the book. Immediately after, we will introduce you to the author and illustrator. Once you have become familiar with them, we will present some discussion prompts. These discussion prompts can be used to help the children think about the themes of the writing and the illustrations. We will follow with fun activities that reinforce the ideas discussed in the prompts. The presentation will end with recommendations of books that are either written by the same author or have similar themes. First, we have a read aloud of Magic Ramen by the book's author, Andrea Wang. A link to the video will be provided in the description below. Now, we will be going over the backgrounds of the author and illustrator of Magic Ramen. The author of Magic Ramen is Andrea Wang. She was born in Cambridge, Massachusetts in 1970. She's had a passion for books ever since she was young, and she continues to carry that passion with her throughout her education and her career as a children's book author. She has written a total of 12 books, her most famous ones being The Neon Monster and Magic Ramen. She has received multiple awards for her work as well, one being the Asian Pacific American Awards Picture Book Honor in 2017. Next, we have Kana Urbanowicz, the illustrator of Magic Ramen. She originally intended to pursue web design after being told that a career as an illustrator would not financially support her. However, that did not stop her. She was later able to get her start in illustration after showing potential employers some of the animation she created using Adobe Flash software. From there, she continued to build her career by illustrating picture books, animation stickers, and character designs. She currently works in Tokyo. Now we're going to introduce our three main discussion prompts for Magic Ramen. Within each prompt, we define a general purpose for it and provide a few extra questions to help lead the discussion. This is the first discussion prompt. Who does Ando constantly remind himself of when he needs the motivation to pursue his passion? How does his passion fuel his determination? The purpose of this prompt is to help the children think critically about what passion and perseverance truly mean beyond the standard definitions. To start off, ask the children to define passion, perseverance, and motivation in their own words. This will establish a foundation for the rest of the discussion. Next, help them connect the concept of passion and perseverance to something they can easily relate to, such as a sport, game, or hobby they enjoy. This will make these abstract concepts more concrete and easy to understand. Finally, lead the discussion back to Ando, his passion, and perseverance. Ask them to utilize their newfound understanding of these concepts to discuss the main prompt and the story. This is the second discussion prompt. What would have happened if Ando had stopped trying different methods for creating instant ramen? What role does Ando's perseverance play in helping him achieve his goals? The purpose of this prompt is to stress the importance of perseverance in achieving one's ambitions. Start off the discussion by asking the children to find specific examples in the story that demonstrate Ando's perseverance, perhaps by having them list out the obstacles and solutions Ando encountered throughout the story. This will allow them to visualize the effort that Ando put into pursuing his passion. Then direct the conversation back to the prompt. Propose hypothetical situations that could have happened in the story and ask the children how different the story would have been if those situations had happened instead. This is the final discussion prompt. What do the colors, setting, and facial expressions worn by the people in pages 3 and 4 tell us about how the people in Osaka, Japan were feeling? Why does this memory help Ando persevere? The purpose of this prompt is to analyze one of the story's most significant illustrations, the memory that Ando consistently thinks back to throughout the story. First, ask the children to go to pages 3 and 4 of the book and carefully examine the illustration, paying close attention to the colors, setting, and facial expressions depicted. Next, ask the children to brainstorm what specific emotions correlate with what they've noticed. Finally, direct the discussion to the second question of the prompt. 
help them use what they've discussed so far to come up with possible reasons for why Ando uses this memory to motivate himself, such as empathy or a sense of purpose. Okay, we will now introduce the activities we created for Magic Ramen. Activity 1, Ando's Thoughts. In this activity, the children will write down Ando's recurring thoughts and character traits in the bubbles. First, ask them to find some of Ando's most important thoughts throughout the story. Then, let them brainstorm some of the character traits that Ando displays based on these thoughts. Any thoughts that Ando has throughout the book are good answers, whether that be his ideas for how to cook the noodles or even different ways to package them. Activity 2. Word Search This activity highlights some of the major things in the story. On the right side of the grid, there is a list of 10 words that describe Endo's personality. Simply have the children find and circle the listed words in the grid. Activity 3. Way Out The third activity is a maze, one that is a representation of Endo's perseverance throughout the story. As the children progress through the maze, they will either encounter dead ends, represented by pictures of Ando's obstacles, or successful pathways, represented by pictures of Ando's solutions. In this maze, Ando cannot find his way out. Help him do so by guiding him from the bottom left corner to the top right corner of the maze. Now, we will provide six children's book recommendations. Andrea Wang's books. The first three we recommend are written by Andrea Wang herself. The first book, Watercress, is coming out in 2021 and will be Wang's autobiography. The book will follow her story as a child of poor immigrant parents and will showcase her journey and connection to her heritage. The second book, The Many Meanings of Milan, follows the character Milan Hugh as she explores a variety of Chinese fairy tales and the concept of matriarchy. The third book, The Nyon Monster, tells the story of a legendary beast that creates chaos in the villages of China on the first day of every Chinese New Year. Books with similar themes. The last three books are written by different authors but have similar themes to Magic Ramen. The fourth book we'd like to recommend is This Promise of Change, One Girl's Story in the Fight for School Equality by Debbie Levy and Joanne Allen Boyce. This story is about 12 African-American students who faced adversity in the fight to integrate schools in 1956. Like Magic Ramen, the story touches upon the themes of perseverance and determination, both of which are vital to success. The last book we'd like to recommend is The Crayon Man. The True Story of the Innovation of Crayola Crayons by Natasha Bebo and Steve Salarino. As the title suggests, this book tells the story of Edwin Binney's innovation of Crayola Crayons. Similar to Magic Ramen, it demonstrates the creativity, passion, and persistence that is necessary to push yourself towards making your dreams a reality. That concludes our Reader's Guide for Magic Ramen, the story of Momofuku Ando. In the description of this video, we have provided links to the principal activities and a list of the book recommendations we presented. We hope that this guide has given you some ideas for facilitating meaningful discussions and activities with your students and children. Thank you for watching!